Welcome to Jesus for All. This is the second part of our reading from Judges, the book of Judges, chapter 18, from verses 16 to 31. Then I take the Levite and the idol. Now the six hundred men of the knights, armed with their weapons of war, stood by the entrance of the gate, and the five men who had gone to scout out the land went up and entered and took the carved image, the ephod, the household gods, and the metal image, while the priest stood by the entrance of the gate with the six hundred men, armed with weapons of war. And when these went into Mecca's house and took the carved image, the ephod, the household gods, and the metal image. The priest said to them, What are you doing? And they said to him, Keep quiet. Put your hand on your mouth and come with us and be to us a father and a priest. Is it better for you? to be priest to the house of one man or to be priest to a tribe and clan in Israel. And the priest's house was glad. He took the ephod and the household gods and the carved image and went along with the people. So they turned and departed putting the little ones and the livestock and the goods in front of them. When they had gone a distance from the home of Mecca, the men who were in the houses named Mecca's house were called out, and they overtook the people of Dan. And they shouted to the people of Dan, who turned around and said to Mecca, What is the matter with you? that you come with such a company. And he said, You take my gods that I have that I made and the priests and go away. And what have I left? How then do you ask me? What is the matter with you? And the people of Dan said to him, Do not let your voice be heard amongst us. Lest angry fellows fall upon you and you lose your life with the lives of your household. Then the people of Dan went their way. And when Micah saw that they were too strong for him, he turned and went back to his home. But the people of Dan took what Micah had made and the priest who belonged to him. And they came to Laish, to a people quiet and unsuspecting, and struck them with the edge of the sword, and burned the city with fire. And there was no deliverer, because it was far from Sidon, and they had no dealings with anyone. It was in the valley that belongs to the that belongs to Bethlehem. Then they re, they rebuilt the city and lived in it, and they named the city Dan, after the name of Dan their ancestor, who was born to Israel. But the name of the city was Laish at the first, and the people of Dan set up a carved image for themselves. And Jonathan, the son of Geshem, son of Moses, and his sons were priests to the tribe of the Danites until the day of the captivity of the land. So they set up Micah's carved image that he made as long as the house of God was at Shiloh.
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of Almighty God, and Jehovah God, the Most High God, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for Jesus, our new covenant. Thank you, Jesus, for your shed blood. We thank you for being our Savior, the Savior of the world. We thank you, Jesus, that you have fulfilled the laws for us, that we are people saved by your incorruptible blood for the forgiveness of sins. God, we pray that as people of your covenant, with the Holy Spirit in us, we will continue to be led and instructed and directed daily by the Holy Spirit. Help us not to grieve the Holy Spirit in us. Help us, Lord, to walk in faith with you. Help us to continue to be your light in the world. As we go to sleep, Lord, we pray that we will not have a disturbed sleep. We will not have anyone come to destabilize us. We render, O oh Lord, our home our households and all that consign us into your loving hands because we believe and have faith that whatever we leave in your hands, Lord Jesus, is safe. We praise your holy name. We worship you. We adore you. We glorify your name. Help us daily. We will not touch evil. Evil will not locate us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.